Good morning. It is a very, very chilly morning. It's frost on the ground. Ooh. Steam on the lake. Sammy's out here running around somewhere. And on this cold morning, get the right key here, calls for the generator. My batteries are low. Got some turkey bacon going on this morning. I have some leftover rice. And I'm going to cook two eggs with that rice, use that up with some cheese. That's going to be breakfast this morning. Add a little bit of cheese and it'll be done. And that's breakfast. Well, it's errand day and I hate errand day. It is do laundry. Look at all the laundry. We gotta get water, we gotta get propane, and we gotta do laundry, we gotta go to Walmart, so this is one of those days that I don't ever look forward to, but we gotta do it. We always see deer right here. Don't you jump over that. Don't run. Of course, we see him over here too. Look, I don't want to watch him. Oh, he came back. Yeah, he came back this way. It's warmed up quite a bit, so I'm going to go ahead and shut the generator down. Well, normally that's all I have to do to shut it down. Isn't that funny? Got my Lucy lights charging. My solar panel. Let's see what we're doing right now. After a... Oh, 100%. Cool. Of course, I've had the generator running. But now I'm going to be running off the solar the rest of the afternoon. Um... I do have a inverter sitting here charging a battery pack on my two batteries. So I'm at my lake property and I kind of talked about this in a video before. But um, I contemplated on getting rid of this along with my house. But the taxes are really cheap. And I can live here, well, live here. I've only been here for three months out of this year, so that's kind of it. It's just a home base. And I can come here when I need to. If I need to save some money, live really cheaply, whatever the case may be, I can return here and it doesn't cost me a whole lot to stay here. So I've had this property, and I've said in the last couple of videos that I've had this property for over 20 years. And 
It is dilapidated. I will give you that. Because life got in the way, my career got in the way, and things got more important than me putting money into this. So, you know, it's not a place that I could actually live. And um, in the cabin, I call it a cabin. So, you know, to me, I can make this an off-grid cabin. And living in the RV, I've been able to do that really well. So right now it's kind of a storage facility. I got out of my storage unit this last weekend. That was costing me $140 a month. And so I got everything here. My house, I put it on the market in January of 2018 and it sold really fast. So I had to just pack everything up and put it somewhere. And I also had a... Um, previous engagement that I needed to be at is a park host in March, April, May. So that cut packing my things up short. So I was able to finally take care of that. And now I'm at that location, my off-grid cabin. Oh, wow. I say that is because I have no water and I have no electric. So I had the electric turned off because for some reason I didn't have electric in, in the house. But anyway, where is my dog? Hang on. Are you a good girl? Are you a good girl when I call you? Come on, baby. Come on. Yeah. Come on. It's a beautiful day today in November. I'm going to talk about this off-grid cabin. And like I said, my... You know, my career got in the way of me keeping up with this place and just life got in the way and things went downhill. But, you know, I can, I have an RV so I can stay on this property and all it costs me is, you know, I'm self-contained. So it costs me propane and water and I'm going to show you um, how I pump in my water, get my water and my electric Y'all saw that this morning from a generator. As I visit, I'm going to say visit here because I don't live here. As I visit here, because I'm already scheduled for park hosting jobs six months of next year of 2019. So I'm not going to be here and I will be several months in Arizona starting in a few weeks. I can't wait for that. As I visit here, I'm going to try to actually make the cabin into an off-grid cabin also. But let me just show you why I say it's off-grid. Like I said, I have no electricity and I have no water, but I'll show you why. So if you can see, there is no power going to the house. So I have it turned off at the company. And... So there's nothing going to this house. All this wire needs to be replaced. It's several years ago, let's see if I can get out here. Several, oh, it's probably been 15 years ago. I did drill a new water well at this location. Let's see if we can get out here. Through all of these cactus. The water here. If you don't, the let me say this, the old water well was real shallow and the water stained the sinks and the toilet, this red, red, red clay. So later on I drilled this water well up here and went a lot deeper and the water is a whole lot cleaner. This is the first time I visited this well since... Oh, I don't even know. But all the, um, the electrical looks okay. But I was thinking that this was busted. But so it really needs to be reworked or the electrical. Because all the electric inside the pump house, I'm sure, is... 
needs to be done. I haven't opened the pump house in a long time because I can tell there's critters living in there and that needs to be re reworked too. But I really thought this was all busted, but it's not. Anyway, I have no water either. So, turn that off. But I do want to show you how I get water into the RV now. So when I spoke about being off-grid and I have no water well here, what I do is I fill up these five-gallon containers. And we did that the other day. We had, let's see, I guess we have six. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So yeah, we have 30 gallons. And they're kind of heavy, so I had this utility marine pump right here. I hook it up to the batteries, and I just let it pump it into the RV. I'm going to show you. Now I think it's pumping. It's not pumping yet. Oh, got to turn the valve on. Okay, now it's pumping. Pretty good stream. And it doesn't take very long to pump in five gallons. And then I just do the next one and then I have pretty much a full tank. So it costs one dollar a gallon to fill up one of those tanks. One of those jugs. 